the control setup is something that's um, that new people uh, do take a bit of time getting squared away and some people do have some difficulty and uh, which is unfortunate and in, in some ways understandable but um, I just wanted to run through this before we get into some some live action this morning and go through the controls and uh, the video so um, <clears throat> I'll go through the video first <coughs> excuse me so I'm just trying to recover from the fact that it was on mute okay um, I've actually got a 2k monitor uh, but for the purposes today, I've, I've set the resolution at uh, 19, 20, 1080. Um, once again, these preferences are my preferences. Your preferences might be different. Your capability your computer, your GPU, etc., etc., um, may and will be different. Um, I've got a, um, a 1080 graphics card, which when I got it was the bee's knees. Um, now it's just the knee because of all the new cards that have superseded it. It's still great and um, and runs cliffs at uh, well, runs cliffs very well at 2k I must say um, but these are my settings so I have the full screen on the sudo some people go with the um, on um, or off but sudo seems to work best for me I've got the detail very high everything's um, very high on this side here's a here's one that some people um, may get confused with the texture quality original or high original is actually the highest obviously it's at the top but some people go hang on a minute it's high better than original I can tell you original is the way to go um, over here new to Desert Wings to Brook is the anti-aliasing um, setup new options so we've got off um, FXAA SMAA and then SMAA being the top um, for mine I then go to uh, color and the preset of ultra that's mine I've got all that ticked some people are vsync on some people are vsync off once again personal preferences um, and I've got everything ticked and everything at high there so I'm just reading some of the comments that are coming up no one's taken a pee too much of my sound issue <laughs> which is good thank you okay so that's really the video video is probably the easiest part um, in relation to realism, um, this is essentially what, um, you know, for real-ish, I guess, but that's really for single play. If you go onto something like the Team Fusion um, server and, and probably most of the other servers really, they're at um, full real, so this won't get taken into consideration. You just play as what the server is. And then the controls. Well, I know this is where it gets this is where it gets interesting for most people. Now, if uh, I've got a, um, well, I'm kind of pretty fortunate. I've got a Warthog um, joystick. I also I kind of alternate every now and then with a Microsoft Force Feedback 2 joystick, and I've also got a, a Honeycomb um, yoke when I'm flying a bomber or anything that you use a yoke for, I'll just a bit more realism, I'll be able to use that. So I've got a few different configurations um, in my setup, which you can save. You can see down the bottom right, you can save your configurations as is, and uh, they go to your 1C soft club, and I'll show you where they go. If, um, I mean, you can use someone else's configuration, so if you, would like what you see of mine or something like that just let us know in the chat bar and um, we'll get in touch and um, I can send you mine but once again pref these are very personal preferences you know different buttons doing different parts so what I'll do first I'll go into the axes so anything if you've got an axis um, you can use uh, over time I've kind of collected some bits and pieces so I've, I've got a few um, obviously I've got a throttle quadrant with the Warthog um, I've got a SciTech throttle quadrant um, which I use for radiators and my landing gear um, and I've also got a, a SciTech trim wheel as well um, which I don't think that you don't really see too many of those getting around um, if you do pick one up pretty cheap which is fortunately I did second hand uh, I thoroughly recommend it um, it is a good piece of kit so 
I will get into, we'll go top to bottom, and this will take a little bit of time going through uh, the control options. So first, obviously, the aileron, elevator, and rudder. Um, for those who, you know, I'll just show. So from there, oh, that doesn't like that. My uh, throttle quadrant likes jumping on top of my <laughs> this when it does. But this is where you select your, um, for your joystick. Um, the sensitivity down here for the ailerons. Personal preference, some people like it at zero, some people like it jammed up. Mine's 38 or 0.38. And then if you want to make sure that everything is working fine, um, you then, I'll just show you this. Okay, well first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm using the right one. So I'll go down to load. There we go. This is my latest one. And yep, so that's going there. Um, you get elevator, rudder, elevator trim, uh, landing flaps. I just use one of the bits there for my throttle, undercarriage. But as I said, these are axis, so if you've got any axis, you can assign that. Obviously, wheel brakes and my uh, rudder pedals have got those as well. And then oil and radiator. But if you don't have um, access for any of these, they do go into the normal key bindings. Right, oh, so the keys have a number of, quite a number, of different areas. But just go from top to bottom and you can go through and get that squared away. So obviously the game, that's, that's pretty good. Um, now, to take a screenshot, some people do say, hey, where did my screenshot go when I took a screenshot? Um, it goes into the 1C soft club section. Okay. Righto. So the general, pretty self-explanatory. Fire current weapon now. This... Your channel. So... For this, this is, um, for mine at least, um, if you're in any of the gunner positions. Okay, uh, I think the default is the left mouse button. Mine is the joystick, so um, if I'm in the gunner position, I'm using my joystick to move around. Oh, sorry, I'll start again. I'm using my mouse to move the, the gun around, and I've just got my normal trigger <coughs> to fire away. Reload, bailout, set that. Um, one thing I will say is pretty much what I what you will see of mine here are but I mean obviously what gets me up and running um, I think they're the essentials personal preference again okay um, you want to make sure you got your hatches squared away for the aircraft you need to jettison don't forget that one otherwise you're not getting out if you have to Uh, you got the cockpit illuminations. I've got that squared away. Now, you've got two. My preference of the gun side illumination, you've got toggle and increase. I just put increase, so when I press that button, it just goes to full, and that's it. Um, so that suits me best. Uh, toggle AI control just got space, and the map I've got mapped. No pun intended. Okay, um, now with the aircraft, this, I mean, if you've got any buttons you want to use there, you can use it for your other elevator aileron. I use my stick for the, the trimming the rudder. Um, some aircraft do have um, aileron trim. You can use that. I haven't mapped it. Uh, landing flaps, obviously, you can just toggle them if you like. I've got Two, st two stage buttons, so I use that. Uh, leading edge lats, I don't worry about. Um, toggle undercarriage and raise and lower. Um, if 
I said I've got it on an axis but if you don't you obviously need to map those out now you can either just press one button and looks after it or if you've got two buttons you want to do um, you can add those uh, if you want to drop your undercarriage I've got that mapped um, wheel brakes I think the default is B um, mine is um, on my uh, warthog just be mindful here's another tip is if you're going to map something to your joystick and it just happens to be you're pushed if you're on TeamSpeak or Discord and you've got push to talk um, just be mindful if you're using the same button for your brakes as your push to talk um, because if you're talking when you're taxiing or you're about to take off I guarantee you you're about to hit the dirt and you know you're going to nose in um, I've done that in the past and uh, so just be mindful of that uh, left and wheel brake left and right wheel brake if you want to do that uh, you got toggle air brake for the aircraft that have got it I've got that mapped um, I didn't worry about the two stage so I just went to toggle um, the same with Bombay doors now this there's a part of the in the information windows once we go into the game that some people go geez how do I know if my, my doors are um, open or closed how do I know if my bombs are armed or not I'm going to show you with an info window so it pops up when you do it so you don't have to look around the cockpit I don't worry about any of those at the moment the air filters have actually do it in cockpit but um, if you want to toggle that for the aircraft that have them um, please put the information in there yeah yeah good on you for the flashcard wrap mate you bet they're great um, then you got the autopilot for those that that is worth mapping I haven't got it mapped at the moment um, but your autopilot is worth mapping for those that are going to go on longer trips and for those who want to just set their aircraft in a straight line and go make a coffee